officially ready for our for Ethan. Ethan's doctor's appointment today. We have um, an orthopedic appointment to go over his MRI. So hopefully we get good news. So I will be popping in and out today as we do our things. So come along with us. So here we are, patiently waiting in the room. And I really say patiently because we have been waiting 38 minutes to be seen. I think we're all just anxious already. He's on his phone. I'm on my phone. My husband's on his phone. And we are waiting the results of this MRI patiently. I am going to need a jumbo juniper latte when I get out of here. So I am home now after Ethan's uh, orthopedic appointment. It went well. All he has to do is wear a back brace um, to sleep to help him with his scoliosis. Um, we went out to lunch. My husband is relaxing on the sofa. <laughs> There's lots of appointments coming up. And I'm enjoying my Starbucks, my Juniper Latte. If you haven't tried it, go try it. It's really good. It's not too sweet. Ethan's doing some schoolwork since he didn't go to school today. I don't give any free passes out. So, yeah, relaxing until I have to start dinner. And so far, that's what my day has entailed. Nothing elaborate. I'm actually working to see what I am going to record for tomorrow. I kind of have in mind either maybe making cookies or something to that nature, but I'll see. I actually wanted to make some like peppermint bark or something like that. I saw some recipes I wanted to do in the Food Network magazine, so we'll see if I decide to make those. Hey everybody, so I'm actually starting to get ready to cook some dinner. Tonight I am going to be making some cube steak with onion and peppers in a red sauce. Um, so what I I am going to show you some of the ingredients that I use what to I make do is, um Before I start, I take this um, marinade, which I totally recommend that you buy. It's a Goyo Mojo Criollo marinade. So what I do with that is I get it started in the pan because this is where I'm going to lay the onions and the peppers. So I put that in a large pan. You can even do it in um, like a little pot, like a, I, but I really like this one because it has the cover on it. So then um, I haven't gotten my, my meat out because remember, always do your vegetables first because you can cross contaminate um, your produce. So. I use the Goya adobo without pepper. Um, it's an all-purpose seasoning. And I use two packets of Sazon Goya with culantro and achote. Um, of course, everybody's going to say, what about what is culantro and achote? It's coriander and annatto. So this is what I use to season um, the cake steak. So what I put in it is... So I put in cilantro. You're not gonna wanna use the stems, however. Everybody has their preference. So I cut it right about here and it discard the stems. Sometimes I use the stems um, to make sofrito, which is like a, um, like a base. Um, then I have what is called culantro. It's kinda like cilantro, but you'll find this in uh, most like bodegas or Spanish market. Two heads of garlic, a large one and a small one two red onions and I have two green peppers and I purposely um, had this pepper right here because you this part right here of the onion I mean of the pepper I'm sorry is very tart and that's the membrane you're going to want to take that out before you start chopping it so always take out the membrane like this you're gonna want it to be like that so I'm just gonna chop up these ingredients and then I'll throw them in the pan with the marinade. I chopped up everything and I put it 
it in a prep bowl. So it doesn't have to be laid out pretty because we're just going to put everything in the pan. So that was included um, the onions, the peppers, the cilantro, the culantro, the garlic, and the green pepper. So we're going to put this in the pan. And remember, it doesn't have to be pretty. Today is definitely not a pretty day for me. Um, you should, with, obviously, I have company. I'll julienne the peppers um, a little bit nicer. It could be a rough chop because this is what we're going to... It's almost like when you make soup and you have your mirepoix. This is what we're going to lay um, the cube steak on. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of just putting that like on a six on the, on the stove top for now. And I am going to season the cube steak and then I will be placing the cube steak on of top of the onion and pepper mixture with a little bit of water and then I am going to be adding some Ken's um, Italian dressing over the meat and then what you're going to do is you're going to cook that on a simmer and it's going to be so tender it's going to be you can see I kind of have my onions and peppers and that mixture kind of simmering right now because I'm kind of on like a medium heat um, I have my cube steak marinated if you see it's like kind of an orangey color that's because of the annatto so what I'm gonna do is I and again if you don't have the adobo you can just use um, salt and pepper to taste um, sometimes I use fajita seasoning um, you can I kind of just did like a rough chop because with cube steak it shrinks very very much um, but if it's for like fajitas or something to that nature then you can by all means cut the cube steak however you want um, you can do it in thin strips or for a stir fry remember anyone can cook as Remy would say um, gusto it's like anyone can cook Good old gusto taught us that motto, um, but I did go to culinary school, but my love is Disney, so I am a Disney travel agent. So if you can see, you could just layer it upon, because once everything starts to, the flavors start to marry, like Remy said, when you put the two ingredients together, it's like, bam, all the flavor comes together because what we're doing is we're marrying the onions and the peppers it's almost like when you smoke things you know you get that that taste of the smokiness so now what we're going to do is we are going to take the Ken's Italian I like to use the light they also have the zesty it's your preference so what you're going to do is just pour that over. Put the it all steak. in, obviously. You're just going to put a little bit. Make sure you give a good good shake of it. Um, I don't use any oil. I try not to use any oil. I just use like the n natural juices of the juice. And then there's oil in the, in the salad dressing. So that's going to give it an amazing taste. So then what I'm going to do is just add about a, a cup of water to this. And then I'm just gonna put it, leave it on medium and just kind of let it simmer for a while because you want your meat nice and tender. Then I'm gonna get the white rice. This pot is really deep, this kind of the skillet. Um, I did put two cups of water, but it's, it's not gonna affect the flavor because it is almost gonna simmer out. You're almost, it's almost like you're steaming the meat. Um, sometimes I do it in the crock pot, but it just takes too long. So I have this now um, like on a medium high and I'm just kind of let it I'm gonna let it simmer probably for about an hour or so and then I'm gonna start getting the rice and I will come back Oops, I'm getting my water started for my white rice I was gonna do rice pilaf but I'm all out of orzo um, the rice pilaf the instant rice pilaf I use more when I'm like in a hurry but technically I like to do my um, my rice pilaf homemade um, so I'm getting my rice water ready so it's two cups of water per cup of rice um, and again I'm not big on oils or um, too much sodium but 
at this point I'm going to let the water boil. I might add about two um, tablespoons of oil just because this is one of those Spanish rice pots and they stick. But if you have a non-stick, by all means, you could, you don't have to use oil or anything like that because this is just a stainless steel um, Spanish rice pot by Emusa, um, and it's great. So and a little bit of salt to taste, and then once the water comes to a boil, I will add the rice and let the rice dry for a little bit, and then I will cover Make it Make sure, so I, now I have my rice going. Make sure when it's white rice, you're gonna wanna rinse your rice because white rice is bleached. So you wanna always rinse it off to get off all the impurities. I have two tablespoons of um, canola oil and two tablespoons of salt. Um, so we what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this simmer on about medium high for a few minutes in the water, uh, most of the water has been um, cooked down. So now what I do is I kind of um, create a dome on the rice so that way the heat can be distributed evenly to the rice. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn down the heat to about medium, medium low. I usually put it on number four and then what you're gonna wanna do is, you're gonna wanna cut, cover it, set it, and forget it for about 45 minutes, and then dinner will be ready. The meat is looking good, it's simmering, um, and it smells amazing. So yeah, once dinner's ready, I'll share that so, with you. Dinner was amazing, and I am officially exhausted. It was a busy day, and I am about to just take a nice hot bubble bath, get ready for bed and call it a night and start off yet another day tomorrow. So I wanna thank you all for watching thus far and I am enjoying watching everybody's vlogmas. Um, but before I end this video, I wanted to like share like a, like um, something mind blowing. So on Instagram, we're in like this group of basically just Disney, a Disney family. And so I was asking for some advice um, from Scott and Fiona um, from the UK about, you know, their picture quality, what cameras they use and things to that nature. So then we're inside the chat and it comes to find out, you know, somebody else was like, all right, I am going to check out um, your videos and I'll let you know. So I was like, oh, okay. So on YouTube and also on Instagram, his um, channel is Tom Does Disney. So we were talking and he's like, wait a minute. I just was watching your video. Did you say it was rainy here in Rhode Island? So I'm like, yes, I did. He was like, oh my God, I live in Rhode Island. And it's like of a group of like, I want to say like maybe 20 or 30 of us where most of them are from like the UK. So it's like how many thousands of millions probably are on Instagram. And we're in this like little group on Instagram and we only live like 20 minutes away. Like how crazy is that? So if you haven't bumped into him, check out his YouTube. He has wicked good videos. Um, Cause we have to support one another, but especially when we live in the same state. <laughs> And 20 minutes away. So yeah, check him out. Tom does Disney. Um, so yes, I am calling it a night. Have a great night. A magical night. Stay blessed. And I look forward to tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to, subs to subscribe to my channel. Please give this a thumbs up. Comment below. And also hit the bell notification. Thank you and have a great night. God bless. <laughs>